Hello everyone, Randy here, and I've got just one question. Who thought it was a good idea to put a chainsaw on an angle grinder? I'm not talking this chainsaw one. This one looks bad enough. I'm talking this one. So everyone, what do we have here? Well, we got an electric chainsaw adapter. Oh, yeah, very, very important. It is professional. Professional. Oh, and it's new too. Okay, that's, that's very important. Yes, new. Uh, this is supposed to go on an angle grinder. Uh, you notice I already have a chainsaw adapter on there already. Yep, that looks dangerous enough. Uh, this, in fact, might be the most dangerous angle grinder attachment I've seen. We'll have to see once here after I've looked at this one. I, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, coming at you from probably some uh, Chinese warehouse here somewhere. Uh, I declare, they're probably figuring if uh, the virus doesn't get you, well, hopefully maybe this will then. Okay, what do we have in the package here? I mean, first off, we got the chainsaw adapter instruction manual. Oh, heck, it's screw to that. Okay, we got a handle. I was a little concerned about this because I was looking at this like there's no way when I want to hold an angle grinder with a chainsaw here. It, it needs a different handle. So it looks like they provide that. That's good. Uh, chain. Uh, oh, saw chain. Yeah, of course, it's not going to be very long. Whenever this is only 11 and a half inches. Looks like this is the adapter. I think I can probably figure this out already. That's going to be going on there like so somehow. I'm presuming the cover probably over that. Looks like some miss. Oh, okay, that's interesting. There's the adapter there that goes on there. Presumably one of these uh, screws probably holds it down. Some sort of cap, some sort of ring, some more bolts. Just extra pieces from the looks of it. Yeah, let me get this installed on the angle grinder here a minute, everyone. Okay, we're picking up this video here two weeks later here because I started to install this oven and realized we got a slight problem. Yeah, that ain't going to fit on that. Not even close. And uh, I did all kinds of looking at everyone. I find no reference at all on the box, the listing for this whatsoever, wherever, that says what size this uh, sprocket is. So uh, best I can tell when this appears to be like a 10 mil sprocket, a uh, 10 mil center hole, yes, metric units. So went over to uh, eBay, uh, did a quick uh, search there, which uh, returned a disturbingly large number of results. And I found you can get them in 10, at least I'm, I'm presuming this is 10, 10, 12, 14 and 16. Uh, so I got the set here that comes with three different sizes. This was just the one I could get the quickest here. Uh, it was from a US seller, so in the US, rather than having to wait for these, come all the way from China. Best I can tell one, I need the 16 mil size here, and yes, that fits on there quite nicely. So now I can actually start putting this on, and hopefully this will work with this chain. It doesn't, I know that is, uh, well, I guess that's about the same size sprocket there. Hopefully that'll work.
got chainsaw angle grinder attachment. Now I did end up flipping this bar around you know, 180 degrees for my install. Then I started looking, I was like, wait a minute, no, no, I think I want the bar the other way around. And uh, best I could tell there, it looks like it is going around the right way. It's cutting that direction there. I haven't put any oil in it yet. And I did actually pull this off because I was kind of curious, like, wait a minute, I don't see any spot for the oil. But no, there is a hole very bottom there, and that goes through that plate. I'm not sure how well that oil will work. I guess we'll have to find out. Speaking of which, Evan, I think we're ready to try this. Well, okay, we just got a uh, two by four clamp to the workbench here. We're just gonna cut a little piece off this, just see what's what it uh, does. Yeah, that's gonna need hearing protection.
can put it to a little bit of uh, use here, and I think I can uh, draw some uh, conclusions from this. Uh, if this was better built, this would be really good, everyone. Um, I think it's just got a couple of problems. First off, this handle here. This handle just, no, it's, it's and I've actually uh, thread locked this in, replaced this bolt already, tried to get it uh, a little more snug. It just, uh, this handle does not instill any sort of confidence in me. Second problem I keep having on, and I've already lost it here, is this cap cap coming off. And uh, finally got to the point where I couldn't find it back there. I did look for it, couldn't find it. And then uh, the next thing I know several one as well, and this is, I kind of figured this was gonna happen. But if you kind of like uh, try to put any force on this other one, obviously it does, you got a bend point right here. This this will kind of fold up on itself a little bit if you're not uh, careful, right? And I do have this fairly tight. Don't know if I dare go any tighter. With that being said, as long as you just like let it cut, it's perfectly fine. Just don't try to you know, put any uh, force on it. Uh, it worked really, really nice. Uh, cut good. Grinder had plenty of power. I'm using this on the DeWalt 60 volt for anyone uh, wondering here. That is the uh, grinder I'm using this on. Uh, that of course runs on the 60 volt battery. And yeah, but that, that, like I said, uh, if this was better built, I think this would be a really, really nice attachment. This, uh, this guard here does not inspire any sort of uh, confidence in me. In fact, you can tell I've bent it already. And then like I said, that handle, that handle needs to be way better. And then maybe something, I don't know everyone, if they could, something to you know, prevent it from folding up on itself. Uh, I think that would be uh, a little bit better as well. But that being said, it's not going anywhere too quick, as long as you're not really putting any pressure on it. So with that, everyone, uh, if you folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them down below. Like I said, everyone, it's uh, surprisingly okay. And uh, not as scary as I thought it maybe looked at first. Like I said, grinder with a chainsaw on it. Um, I don't know, it works. It works. So, comments or questions, everyone, be sure to leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and till next time.